Hi everyone, thanks for coming back for another video. In my birthday unboxing haul, I told myself I don't need more makeup, I'm gonna go the rest of the year without buying makeup. Um, I kind of forgot about Black Friday and all the holiday sales. So here's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I kind of broke that promise, okay, but I'm gonna just delay that promise a little bit. So I bought a bunch of stuff that was like half price. So financially, it made more sense to get it before the end of the year. This is 2023, I forgot for a second. So I'm gonna try to go January and February without buying more makeup. I wanted to stop so that I could like get my collections together of different products, but it, it just, why pay full price for it in two months when I could buy it half price now and then just, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, but not right now. Uh, so, so far, <laughs> I have a December haul here in front of me. So, um, there's probably more coming because right now it's only December, uh, gosh, I don't remember, 10th, 11th, one of those. So I decided to go ahead and just start recording the haul now. <laughs> there's a ton of stuff. I, I feel bad, but I also, don't because a lot of it I got like I got two $19 lipsticks for $3 because of a Black Friday sale. What? Okay, so I'm gonna do what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do earrings first because they're in my lap in the melt lipsticks I bought came with this super cute box um, with all the lips inside it and stuff. Hold on. Uh, so let's dig in. All right, first of all, kind of in its own category, I got a backup of my duo glue. I think I've only tried like two types of eyelash glue. This is clearly number one. And then I found this really pretty butterfly clip. My hair is way too thick to like be held back by a butterfly clip all day or something. But what if I just pulled it back for makeup and like, had a butterfly on my head. I don't know. It was an impulse buy, but it's just so cute and pretty. Uh, I'm going to try to use it a little bit. The only other thing in here that's not earrings is a purple necklace. I didn't really have any purple necklaces. I don't wear them very often, but when I do, I definitely color coordinate. Um, so I needed a purple. Why is this not in the center? I guess it kind of is. That bothers me. It's just like this um, sun with a purple gem in it. Is it backwards? Just like a purple sun with some like purple and whitish gems, I thought. I really only need the one. I mean, of course, that's what I said about earrings and makeup too. Um, but now I have it and I'll, you'll probably see it in some looks. The rest is earrings. I got, can you see these? Yeah, I have these rose petal that's out of frame. Dangle earrings that I need in every color. <laughs> I love them. I have all the colors but one or two that are just very similar to ones I already have. These were a new color. It was a gray blue. They really look more gray. This is part of what I love about them is that they can be like really grounding. They're fun to touch and also I just love the sound they make. <laughs> um, they're very long but they're just my favorite earrings. I think I have like well over a dozen at this point. Of course I got purple earrings. These were on my wish list forever. They're wood and I just kind of like the way they move. They're all, you know, jointed together. Um, I thought they were going to be a little bigger, but this is totally fine. Uh, I already wore them at some point. I could wear them today, actually. I was going more lavender and then I put the shirt on. I don't know, but I, I've wanted these for a long time, so I got them. On the purple front, okay, so these I found at Target. <laughs> it was a set of three hoop earrings. The two smaller ones are like pink and like light orange or coral. Um, but the third one hanging on here were these super ridiculous purple earrings. Tell me I'm missing the second one. Anyway, it's huge. You can't even like shrug your shoulders because it's like, I don't know how big that is. Uh, 
I know some people wear hoops this big and power to you because it's like so obvious when I wear them because it's like hitting my shoulder. They're huge and purple shimmery and they're very cheap. They're probably going to break like soon, but um, it was fun. It was also like half price. It was $4 for these three earrings and I know I'm going to wear them. If I can find the second purple one. <laughs> this, this one's also in here too. Um, I've been getting these white sparkly, um, they're not exactly gemstones, it's like kind of a squishy material, um, but they're very shiny and they're just pretty hoops, especially for like more of a winter landscape. They come in a whole bunch of colors and I got them. Um, I got this a while ago, but the other one fell out of my ear and I don't know where it is. It's somewhere in my house. I bet you it's gonna end up in the washing machine. Like I just realized at some point I only had one on and I was in the house, so. Wish me luck. Um, but I got the black version of those. They're just, you know, how sparkly they are. They're kind of festive. I also have bright green, lime green. I have a whole collection of these. So I got the black ones. I think that'll really pop for some of the outfits. And the other black earrings I got, again, were on my wish list for a very long time. I don't know why this is in a double package. I have a bunch of wooden earrings that are just kind of like dangly with like geometric patterns on them. These are elephants. Isn't that gorgeous? It kind of reminds me of the um, Koki blushes. Hopefully I can put a picture up of them. They're absolutely gorgeous and like the elephant is kind of their like, not mascot. The elephant is kind of their, their thing. So I just thought these were so cool. Um, I thought they were gonna be brown, but they're black and that's totally fine. I like the geometric pattern on it that it's like a silhouette. Oh, I just, I, I, I thought they were so cool. These are also earrings that I just really like and I got a lot of different colors in. I think all of the ones that I have, oh no, wait, these black and white ones are the same kind, but I got a blue and white. So they'd actually kind of dangle like that. And I got a brown and white. It's a nice tan, you know, like wicker basket weaving kind of color. Um, I have a little bit of, of that and I have a lot. <laughs> I have a lot, let's, let's not lie. I'm really serious about putting a pause on it. Anyway, so those are my earrings and a necklace and duo glue. I found it, I found it. I found it, I found the other one. Proof, there's two. Okay, so let's kind of do the miscellaneous category. Um, I am going to split this a little bit though because right after that birthday unboxing that I keep talking about, um, I got a card from a friend with a hundred dollar gift card for Sephora in it. My mind kind of exploded. I was like, no, you didn't. No way. I don't buy from Sephora. I can't really afford Sephora. I didn't even have a wish list or anything because, and I don't want to go down that rabbit hole and then all of a sudden all I want is this really expensive makeup. Nothing wrong with that. It's just not in my budget. Oh, but then I got this gift card and that was another reason I was like, okay, I need to get stuff now and push off the, the pause. Um, hundred dollars, of course, only gets you like five things. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, I was like, dang, this stuff is like all $25 to like a hundred dollars. It's insane. Um, the Sephora brand does have cheaper items, not cruelty free. All the, all of the cheaper stuff I, I couldn't buy. And then we had the Black Friday sales and then we had the Cyber Monday sale and then randomly they started a sale in December. So I'm going to show you what I got from Sephora specifically. There have been like two times I've walked into a Sephora and just been like, hey, let me, it's fun to swatch things, right? Like it's fine. So the only high end item that I really had my eye on was this concealer from one size. Um, it has a long name. Turn Up the Base Butter Silk Concealer. I'm in love with this. Um, I, like I said, I got a sample pack, so there were like six colors or something, and it just didn't crease. It didn't crease on my under eye, and I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. It's $30. It's $28, um, full price. So Black Friday, everything was on sale except for this. <laughs> it's like specific brands were on sale and stuff. 
but this is what I really wanted, and I just don't want to pay $28 for it, even if it's a gift card. <laughs> I just feel weird about that. Um, so, I, I, like, every day for Black Friday season or week or whatever, for those, Black Friday is the day after Thanksgiving. There's all these sales and people go crazy, but these days a lot of it's online, so. <sighs> so I, I painstakingly was like refreshing the computer because I was like, I'm not gonna buy anything until this is on sale a little bit. Black Friday went by, Cyber Monday went by, there's like a whole week of sales. Finally, December hit 20% off. I think it was everything. Um, so I got it. I painstakingly tried on like 18 of these. I don't know how many shades there are, but I was trying to get one to make my under eye not look ashy. And future me might disagree, but right now I don't think it looks washed out or gray or whatever. This is a medium skin tone, um, which is way darker than I usually, not way darker, I'm usually light. Um, but it's darker than I've ever tried, but I kind of need that, that color correction. Um, so it's working and I really like it. Hopefully it's a while <laughs> before I have to replace it and then I can get it on sale again or something. I didn't spend the entire gift card, but this was the thing I, I really wanted and, and I got. Um, I tried their eyeliner too though, <laughs> in store and my God, all right, let me just touch it to my hands what it is just so sharp and pigmented i tried the blue one and i almost fainted they have a blue one and a black one it's also one size i i've been eyeing a better eyeliner i have a lot of like gel pens not gel pens but the gel like pencil i guess that it's hard to get a precise line i opened this and immediately it touched my hand and i was just like oh my gosh I think these are $18 uh, again on sale. Yay. Uh, I had to, I, I had to try it. I had this money for Sephora. I'm like, let's, let's go. Let's try it. Yeah. I think it was just two others. And then I got to pick two samples, which is a really good idea. Give people samples of concealer that are multiple colors. And then hopefully they'll want more of the concealer. That's how it happened with the one size one. So the only other things that I, I had swatched and kind of caught my eye were two Fenty products. Um, one is technically a bronzer, but when I swatched it, I had been looking for a contour at the time. And this shade Amber, the first one, is really cool toned. Uh, it's a cream. It it does work well as a contour. It's a, looks a little light there, but it actually works. I have that cream shop contour though. That's very similar in color, but the opportunity arose. It's on sale. So I, this was something I was excited about getting. Like I didn't want to just get stuff just to get stuff. I wanted things I was actually excited about. And this was one of them. The other one is a blush. Uh, these, this was like $35 full price. I got one of her blushes to her being uh, Brianna. That's that's who owns, owns or started the Fenty brand. Will you get out of the box, please? Look how small this is. <laughs> These are twenty four dollars. I was really attracted to an orange one, but when I went up to the Sephora, um, it barely showed up on my skin. So I ended up getting what is this called? Cool Berry. It was not the the color that I picked out. I was looking at swatches on YouTube and like the whole line swatched and stuff like that. Um, it was not what I was expecting, but when I swatched it, it was like very clear um, that I would like it. It's a rosy pink, almost bordering mauvey purple. I have a powder of a similar color that I reach for all the time. So I wanted to try the cream blush. Um, I'm kind of not impressed. I've used it a couple times. It seems to kind of disappear. I probably wouldn't buy them again. Cruelty free, obviously, I got it. Um, but now I know, I, I like it. I'm excited about it, but it's just kind of not working real good for me. I don't know. It's probably a me problem and not a product problem, but we'll see. And then the two um, samples I got, I got a, this doesn't have, this is Huda Beauty. It's a concealer sample. 
Um, and then Summer Fridays was the only other sample option that was cruelty free that I was interested in. And it's another, this is a skin tint sample. Um, but it's, it's the other thing I got at Sephora. So first Sephora purchase. Thank you, friend. Unbelievable. Um, and it's stuff I'm really excited about. So awesome. The other stuff I got was either um, on sale or I had coupons for it. Um, one of those was, I was looking for something that would literally hold my brows down like the crunchy way. Like most people don't want the crunchy brows. I kind of do. Uh, so I had a coupon for CVS and I got this e.l.f. clear brow gel and on the other side is a mascara. However, and it's already like a weird color because I was using it for the brows and it had, you know, powder in it. However, the brow part doesn't really do anything. So I tried the mascara end on my brows. The mascara end is shorter than the brow spoolie. What's that usually opposite? I tried the mascara one in the brows once and it did give a crunchy, you know, hold, but it's labeled as the mascara. I, I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, I remember wanting a clear mascara at some point, but I don't remember what for. It might have been to put other colors, like powders, like for like wacky colored lashes, like to stick to it. I don't know. It's kind of a dud, uh, but meh. But, you know, could keep it, gonna try it. The other thing I got with the coupons from CVS were more of these e.l.f. lipsticks. They're really more of a balm. They are called Hydrating Core lip shine brilliant oh no wait that's the french hydrating core lip shine i got an orange one um that was so cute it gives a little bit of pigment but it's mostly sheer um it smelled like peaches which was just adorable it was really like cute and smelled really good um so i there was a purple one that i wanted i went with one coupon and i thought the purple was kind of light for what i remembered Turns out it was because there was one darker and this is the one that I meant to get, but I ended up getting this one with the first coupon and this one with the second. So one is like a mauve purple. I kind of accidentally got four more purple lipsticks. So I don't have 50 anymore, I have 54. And maybe that video came out already or maybe it didn't, I don't know. Um, so I got a mauve purple one and I got a darker purple one. It's more like a purple berry. Can you see the heart? Yeah, you can. It has a little heart. And it's hydrating core, so that's probably like straight up lip balm stuff. It's so cute. These I thought these might smell like a different fruit or something, but they smell like peaches too. And they're just they're just super cute. The other lipstick I got was another Nika K one. My project pan this year for 2023. I have this CoverGirl lipstick that I can't tell what color it is. And so I just I don't like it. And it's old and I was like, whatever, I'll use it up. Well, this is supposed to be a pinky nude. That's how it was described. That's the name of it. Uh, tell me if this is a pinky nude. What color is that? Is it salmon? Is it coral? I was like, oh no, I have another lipstick that I can't tell what color it is. I did swatch it next to the Project Pan one and it is brighter. I think I'm going to call it Salmon. It, it looks like it could possibly be a pink nude on the swatch, but it is not. It is bright. Um, these Nika K ones, they're really nice little affordable lipsticks, but the description is like really off for some of them. I don't think I'm going to get any more of these, although I probably will. All right. The other two lipsticks I got from Melt Cosmetics. There's a girl, um, her YouTube channel is called Makeup Missa. She's from Scotland. She has an adorable accent and she does the most elaborate eyeshadow looks. Like not like full body paint, like, like stuff like that, but just like a, an eyeshadow look that just uses like 8,000 colors and looks glorious. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> um, but she was using this melt lipstick in the color golden in a lot of her videos and i think she's a little fairer than me and she might be a little more warm toned than me but i i really wanted this lipstick but it was 19 dollars. now they they do sell some melt cosmetics at sephora and i almost got some but they didn't have these 
these were on the website, the Melt website. It, this was like an accident. Like I was looking at them at Sephora and then it took me to the Melt website. It's a $19 lipstick. I got it for $3. I was like, whoa. And I, so I tried to just buy the mustardy one, um, but it didn't let me. So I was like, there's probably a $5 minimum. So I ended up getting a dark purple one too. I don't know if this color is going to show up on the camera. They smell amazing. The doe foot's really interesting because it's flexible. It looks like a typical doe foot, but then it, it's just, it's movable, but it, it's pretty precise. Um, but can you see that mustard? Yes, you sure can. Um, when I first put it on, it kind of looked like diarrhea. Uh, and so I was like, oh no, I'm a completely different color and this is gonna look horrible, but it dries down a little darker. It's just really, interesting I, I, I just i was vigilant and didn't buy it at full price and eventually i was able to get it i'm just in love with this they're called liquid set lipstick um you can see the color through the uh tube and then on the other side there's a line that you can see the color through let me get the purple one out and this one's called poser again you can see it through there it's almost black it is dark purple. It is really dark. They had some other colors that I was interested in. So I was like, maybe they're still for $3 free shipping. Let me go look. And I couldn't find them anymore. Is milk like going out of business or something? Like they're, they just disappeared from the website. There was a ton of them and there was a whole array of colors. And then all of a sudden there wasn't. Um, so the one called golden is obviously the golden one. The one called poser is that deep purple. Two more things and kind of the random one. I was looking for a white liquid eyeliner. So I was doing some poking around on Amazon and I came up with this dew color, doe color one. Um, it's supposed to be cruelty free. It's, it was cheaper than some of the others. So I decided to try it. Um, it's not bad. First one, it came to me completely smashed. I mean like obliterated. It was, it was kind of disappointing. I was like, oh, my white eyeliner's here. And then it's just like, Pfft. but they took it back, refunded. They sent me a replacement like immediately, like before I even sent the, um, the other one back. And it's, it's decent. Let me see if I, I'm just gonna, you can get some precision with it. Um, it cracks a little bit, but it's decent. It's decent. I'll be playing with that for sure. And it's not real skippy. Like I have wrinkles in there. So like it's a little skippy, but that's because of the texture. Um, okay. And then the last one in this category, um, again, a haul I got that was extremely generous. There was a NYX jumbo pencil, um, a white version of this. I put it in the waterline for a look and it just glided on so smoothly, just instant color. And it stayed, I don't know how long, maybe not all day, but it stayed, it was gorgeous for the waterline. It was perfect. I didn't have to like start it up. I just, whoop, and it was like, dang, I'm going to get a bunch of those. So I got a black one. Doesn't do the same thing. I have it in there today. Um, it does show up. It's not quite as easy to swipe as the white one. Although to be fair, I had sharpened that white one right before. Uh, they don't screw up. You have to sharpen this giant thing and it's plastic. So then the plastic scenario, your eye. but I like it. I keep trying it. I'm new to tight lining. Um, but it doesn't, it just doesn't seem to stay in the waterline. It either kind of migrates down. It looks more like eyeliner, which I guess tight lining is kind of, the, it's kind of eyeliner, right? Or it just kind of disappears in the waterline. I don't know where it goes, but so a little bit disappointed here. These are about $5. I think I got it on Amazon. I think this was kind of like an impulse buy. Still gonna use it. Still gonna use the heck out of it. I still like the formula, um, but it just, it's not gonna last all day. All right, let me go get the last part of my haul so far for December. It's so much stuff. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about the eyeshadow palettes I got for December all on sale, all ridiculously expensive, like $3 palettes, $6 palettes, and it's a lot of eyeshadow. Um, it's all from Profusion Cosmetics. I recorded a haul going into these eyeshadow palettes at length, so I'm going to try to put that one out first. <laughs> um, 
I'm gonna kind of do a quick speed through here. Um, I do a lot more close-ups and, you know, talking about these palettes in the actual, like, profusion unboxing because some of them I've never seen before for that video. But I'll show you what I got. So I got this yellow um, gradient 10 pan palette. This was the one that was $3. And then because I got that yellow gradient, I didn't need any more yellow gradients, right? Well, this was $4. Holy crap! It's, what, this is 18, no, this is 21 shades. The Gold Rush palette. Oh my gosh, it's got some gorgeous glitters and creams and oh, oh gosh, I'm so excited. Gold Rush is better than Citrine so far, but I, I'm gonna be doing palette swatches and stuff and I can't wait. Anyway, the next kind of normal-ish one is huge. It's just, it's the same type as the Kaleidoscope palette that I did a swatch video on. It's called Moonstone. Holy crap. I don't remember how much this one was, but it was on sale. It's got these gorgeous glitter gels down here. I can't wait. They're so pretty. And it's got some face powders over here. The Kaleidoscope one has that too. Um, it's the same format as Kaleidoscope, but it's the same exact colors as the Beauty Bay Nude palette. <laughs> same exact almost. I'll probably, I might do a comparison. I don't know when I swatch this or something. Um, did I need this? No. I bought it mostly for the glitter gels. It was just pretty. Um, it also helped me get free shipping, but I, I mean, I'm gonna use the hell out of this. It's, it's gorgeous. One of the other ones I wanted really badly was this main stage palette. Um, again, those gradient blushes just get me every time. Look at this. They've got an orange gradient blush and a purple gradient blush. And then there's a piece of plastic on it right now, but then they've got more of these glitter gels and it's like stars and moons and stuff. And that the pastels in here, I just, I, I wanted it and it was like half price. Um, so I just got them all at once. Uh, 23 shades in here. It would be 25 if they like separated the blushes into two. So I kind of counted as a 25 pan palette. Love it. Can't wait. The next one, I swatched already and I was blown away. I don't have anything like this. It's called Desert Sage Palette. Look at this. Look at that layout. It's so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. And the colors in there are incredible. So this is number five. This is 25 shades. And then the last one, I didn't know anything about until I was shopping that day. Um, it was like kind of a splurge. Yeah, I think this was the most expensive one and it was like $15 or something. It's called Frosted Snow Sparkle. There are 52 shades in here. Look at this. <gasps> and... <gasps> oh my gosh! Look, there's a purple blush! There's face powders and eyeshadows and highlighters and blushes. And I was just like, this is gorgeous. I'm a sucker for those blush shadows in with the palette, man. It was so stunning that I, I decided to get it um, as part of the package. So those are the profusion eyeshadows I got. Um, like I said, I go into depth in all of them for its own video. I unboxed them and gosh, I'm so excited. I don't know if there's going to be like Christmas sales or, you know, end of the year sales or something like that. I'm expecting I'm probably going to get a few more things. Hey everybody, I've waited so long to put my December haul up that I decided to go ahead and combine my December and January makeup hauls. So let's see what's in the box and those two fancy looking palettes that are right next to it. Okay, the thing I have the most of that's in this box are these Koki blushes. They were on sale around Christmas time, so I ordered some right at the end of the year, and I'm going to show them to you now. So as you can see, these blushes are absolutely stunning. The first one I ever got with this was this purple one. Um, it, in some lights, it looks like a dark pink, but it's purple. I saw these online, I believe it was a video from a channel called Slashed Beauty. 
they were just so gorgeous the gradient that they have you can really see the gradient in this one this one's called star crossed where it straight up goes from a hot pink to this peach um, I'm going to come out with a video swatching all of the ones that I have. I have technically seven different colors. Um, I have a duplicate of my flushed one. The elephant print broke off and I was devastated. And I was going to like just basically set this one up as like a decoration, but then it broke. So they were all on sale for like $5. They're usually eight. So I got a replacement just for show. So I've got the flushed one another flushed one, or the old flushed one. This one's called Bellissima. It's like a neutral color. You can't really call it pink or peach. It's just very, um, it's almost bronzery, at least at the top. The next one, Swoon, is a lot like it. It's um, just a little lighter and you can't see the gradient as well. All of these are these gradient brushes. I just adore these. They're so pretty. Um, Starcrossed is this most distinctive one, like I said. This other one called Tender, most fluorescent orange blush you've ever seen, right? I actually got these two, the flushed one and then this one, um, at the same time. So this was one of the first ones I've got. I absolutely loved this one as well, although as you can probably tell, you do not need much on your brush in order to use it. This one's called Crushing. It's the only one I have that actually has some shimmer in it. I haven't worked with this on my face a whole lot. Look at how absolutely stunning that is. Oh my goodness, it's in like the perfect light. If only my nails were not like so ridiculously awful. And then the one behind it, this one's called Delight. It's also a peach. It is a gradient. You can't tell on the camera a whole lot right now, but it's obviously a lot more subtle than the tender one, the fluorescent orange or the shimmer. Next, this should come as no surprise. I got more Profusion palettes. Um, these are already in my Profusion unboxing video. That's how long ago I got these. Um, what happened was I got a haul that came in towards the end of December and then ones that I ordered towards the end of December that came in very beginning of January and then just a couple other things I've picked up for free since then. Um, this was a eyeshadow palette that I've wanted for a long time and it kept going out of stock. You can probably see why it's so popular. Uh, very unique palette and because of the clear front um, I could put this up as a decoration. It, it's just so cool. There's some shimmers, there's some mattes. Uh, I haven't worked with this a whole lot, mostly because I don't want to get any kick up on the, <laughs> on the actual palette. Um, so I've only swatched a couple of the colors, um, but I have a lot of Profusion Cosmetics, so I expect it to work very similarly. The second Profusion palette I got towards the end of the year was this Smoky palette. Uh, basically, there was shipping that cost more than another palette, so I ended up with a couple other palettes that I didn't technically need. This has been on my radar a little bit. I, I love these purples down here. I thought this one over here was a green, so I wasn't sure about actually making a smoky eye with this, but it's actually black. I don't know how I interpreted that as green. I will have a swatch video of this out. I'll have swatch videos of all of them um, shortly. So this was another one that was just like, hey, why not? I might as well get a palette instead of just pay for shipping. This next one is going to blow your mind. It was on Mega Sale. It's called a portfolio. The name of it is called Glamorlands. Look at this palette. I, I, I just, it's got these blushes, face, four face powders, and eight highlights. It's got some shimmers and more of those glitter gels, is what I call them, up here. And then the main kind of eye part of it is over here. This cardboard thing is the only thing that has the name of the palette on it. It does slide back and forth. Let me see if I can get it over there. Okay, I took the cardboard off so you can see the palette. This was like 72 shades, I think, all together. Uh, just phenomenal. Um, also cost less than the shipping. Uh, I did end up paying a little more than I would have had in shipping, but uh, don't tell anybody. So this is the third one. I, I don't know that I'll ever need another Profusion palette. I don't have any more on my wish list unless they, um, you know, come out with something completely unheard of and new. 
So that's the last Perfusion palette. However, when they sent me these three, they sent me a gift. They sent me Perfusion brushes, this nice powder brush, this little blender eyeshadow brush, and then this unique little like cut kabuki brush. I haven't seen anything like this because it's like it's not just cut in an angle. It's like kind of cut on an angle at the back too. So I'm excited to use this and thanks Perfusion. I've never tried your brushes, but they sent me a few that were probably like running low in stock or something. And um, yeah, so I'm going to be digging into that in the next coming months. Next, I want to show you the little earring haul that I got again towards the end of December. First of all, <laughs> My aunt-in-law was wearing these Christmas Day, and I said, oh, those are so pretty. And she said, here, have them. Took them off and gave them to me. I was like, don't give me your earrings. But she was generous enough to, to do so and wouldn't take no for an answer. So I got these pretty little like poinsettia type earrings. Next, I got these butterfly ones that are actual like monarch butterfly colors for the most part. I have a couple different colors of these and I just think they're so pretty. They're acrylic. Next, I couldn't help myself. I got these little coffee mugs. I just think they're so cute. They came in a set together. They were like $10. Adorable, right? I mean, they're pretty tiny um, for me <laughs> compared to the next one here, but I just adore them and the three colors is kind of convenient. So very, very cute. Just last week, these went on sale. They're huge, okay? They're like three and a half inches, but they're so pretty. And you look like you have a Hawaiian flower or something like on your head, in your hair, whatever. Like, but they're earrings. I, I just, again, they're acrylic. They're so pretty. Um, I have a dark purple and a white. I'm considering getting a pinky kind of light purple color too. Um, I got these with a credit. And then next, I didn't think these were going to come in. These are just these badass, like, metal, like, bat wing earrings. They were lost in the mail for a while, so I may have even ordered these in November. <laughs> but they showed up. I like them a lot. I actually had to uh, touch them up with some black nail polish because they were chipped by the time they got here. But, you know, they're, they're maybe two inches. Sorry about my nails being crap. They always are. So what a cute little collection, some of which I was very much not expecting. Next, this lashes set was a gift. I was not expecting this at all. Um, my stepmother, it, our family is weird. It's hard to know how we relate to each other. Um, she had these and had no use for them. It's the first ever set I've had with bottom lashes. I've been terrible so far at attempting to wear bottom lashes, but these, you know, are meant for that. I don't know how old they are, but they've never been opened. So we'll see how this goes. I will try to record when I do finally try these. And, you know, silver over the top, definitely my style. And finally, does this look like someone who's trying not to buy as many lip products? <laughs> kind of a fail on that. Um, however, almost all of these were part of my December haul. Um, just the later part of it. So the first one, um, this one I ordered full price from a indie brand called Fantasy Cosmetica. Let me show you their card here. This particular lipstick is from the Lost Library collection. I am a huge book nerd, so of course I had to try and participate in this. Um, this color is called Overgrown, and it is a gorgeous mossy green. Only complaint I have about it is that it doesn't stay on for long at all. It just kind of disappears. It doesn't smell like anything, so it's not like a, you know, fancy application where you're like, oh, I love the way it smells. It just doesn't smell like anything, but this color is so unique. This olive mossy green. I, I just adore it. And they have some other odd ones, too. They have an orange one, a blue one. I just got the one, though. None of them are on sale, but I had to have this packaging. Um, because of the books on it. Did you see this? Like, the whole thing is a bookshelf. So cool. And it's like that all the way around. So you can actually kind of mix and match your, <laughs> your bookshelves if you want to. I mean, what a great little display piece. 
I wish I could afford all of the lipsticks. They also have normal colors too. All right, these were on sale on Amazon. They were in my cart forever. In my purple lipstick video, I showed you one of these. They are a black radiance lipstick. They're for sculpting. Um, I'll show you the full name. Everything will be below. But look at how unique this is. You can use the tip as a lip liner. And then as you rub the side of it on your lips, it sharpens it back to a point. You gotta be careful. I'm always constantly worried I'm gonna break it or something. But they're just so cool and they're very well pigmented. They do stain a little bit, but I've only ever tried these like darker, cooler colors. I've never seen the blue one in the store, so I had to order this online. These two might be in the store. It's kind of a reddish purple and a bluish purple. The other one that I already had, which is in my purple lipsticks video, was kind of a neutral, I believe, uh, especially when they're all three swatched together. So these didn't make it into my purple lipsticks video because I was trying to do my like as of 2023 collection and these came in in January, even though I ordered them in December. But I really enjoy these and um, we'll see if I get any actual like normal colors. These two were also on my wish list for a very long time, the famous NYX Butter Glosses. This powder blue I swatched in the store and I, I just don't have anything like it. This purple one I believe is called Marshmallow. Like I said, everything will be below. They're just okay for me. I mean, these colors are, are fine. They do add a little pigment, but there's not much in here. And the doe foot is really small. I mean, they're okay. They're they're good if you're looking for a gloss, but I just don't kind of see the point in like getting a whole bunch of them, especially when a lot of them are neutral colors. So I'm glad I'm trying them and they're very pleasant to wear, not really a smell and just very comfortable, but I, I, you know, glad I tried them. Probably won't get any others, but we'll see. Sometimes opinions change. All right. And these last three, um, this one was part of the end of December purchases. These two were straight up January. <laughs> the The only other thing that was straight up January were those blue giant flower earrings um, because those were on sale. I did use a credit to buy these, I think I mentioned before in January, but it was still, it cost a little bit over. Um, just a couple dollars, if anything. I'll put it up on the screen how much I ended up actually paying for these. And for these, I ended up paying 38 cents for both. They're typically a dollar. I had a $2 coupon, but there was like tax or something over top of it. So my goal was to not buy any makeup in January and February. One, so that I'm just not continually accumulating. Two, so that my budget doesn't go there. And um, three, to just dig into what I have. But if there's free makeup, that kind of doesn't count. However, it was kind of not free because I paid 38 cents and then I paid like a couple dollars. But those are the only things. Those I spent like $3 total in January. So not too bad, right? But let's look at these finally. This one, I don't think they make anymore. It's called Honolulu is Calling. These are part of the Silk Finish line. Uh, it's very bright bright orange. I thought it was going to be more, a little bit muted coral. It's not, I love it, but it is bright. Um, and then these other two are pinks. If you're in the drugstore and you have a very small coupon, look at these Wet n Wild Silk Finish lipsticks and look at the Wet n Wild or Elf eyeshadow brushes. You can usually get those for really low. This one is called Secret Muse. It's like a dark pinky mauve color. This one is called Pink Ice and it's just what it sounds like. It's a pink kind of pearly finish. Um, um, I don't know if it's metallic or not, but unique to my collection, although I do have a whole bunch of these <laughs> at this point, um, but why not? They're a dollar. Uh, no smell, um, pleasant to wear, very comfortable, really nice lipstick. Um, you would not ever think these were a dollar. You'd think they were like five to 10 probably. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up my December and January haul. I will let you know how my no makeup buying is going by the end of February. This has been a really good practice for me, um, but clearly I got enough stuff in December 
that I needed a break anyway. So thanks you so much for watching. Um, we will see you soon. Bye. Um, so what was I saying? Um, uh, the only ones I don't, <clears throat> what's going on? You've got to be somewhere. Where are you? Look at how cute this box is though, like seriously. What's it called? The elephant is kind of their, their thing, their brand, like, not mascot. Oh my, way that it's uh, carved. That kind of motivated me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> that kind of motivate, motivated. <laughs> I don't understand. It's gotta be here, dude. It's gotta be here. Oh my gosh, were you recording the whole time? 50 seconds? What was I doing for 50 seconds? I don't buy some from support. <laughs> and I didn't want to open that door and be like, mm, I really like all these. <clears throat> What's wrong with my voice? This is gonna be a long video. <sighs> I don't buy from Sephora. I can't afford a for a for a for a <laughs> It's a go like even if it's a hello. Uh, it's probably a me problem and not a project project. I don't know. It's a like you know, I got a pink one. No. Why did I say that? I got a... I wanted to say peach and orange, so it almost came out parange. I got a... Why can't I say the color? Uh, what word am I missing? Yeah, I didn't need to spend $44, but I probably would have anyway, and it would have been 80 something. I need to stop talking about that. Okay, so it's the only one I got that actually has some, whoops, what the heck? Do not start meowing over me. Got some shimmers and some more of those jitter, jitter glows. <laughs> pet my cat break, just to make sure he doesn't meow as much. That's really all I have to say.